Hello. Welcome to Millstuff channel. Today we gonna talk about the Boeing the Sikorsky Shish 60 per Mega Henry 60 Seahawk, or Seahawk, is a twin turboshaft engine, multi-mission United States Navy helicopter based on the United States Army U-60 Black Hawk and a member of the Sikorsky S-70 family. The most significant modifications are the folding main rotor and a hinged tail to reduce its footprint aboard ships. The U.S. Navy uses the H-60 airframe under the model designations Shish-60B, Shish-60F, HH-60H, MH-60R, and MH-60S. Able to deploy aboard any air-capable frigate, destroyer, cruiser, fast combat support ship, expeditionary transfer dock, amphibious assault ship, littoral combat ship or aircraft carrier, the Seahawk can handle anti-submarine warfare, ASW, anti-surface warfare, ASUW, Naval Special Warfare, NSW, Insertion, Search and Rescue, SAR, Combat Search and Rescue, CSAR, Vertical Replenishment, VERTREP, and Medical Evacuation, Medivac. During the 1970s, the U.S. Navy began looking for a new helicopter to replace the Cayman Shish-2 Sea Sprite. The Shish-2 Sea Sprite was used by the Navy as its platform for the light airborne multipurpose system, LAMPS, Mark I avionics suite for maritime warfare and a secondary search and rescue capability. Advances in sensor and avionic technology lead to the LAMPS MK2 suite being developed by the Naval Air Development Center. The Navy then conducted a competition in 1974 to develop the LAMPS MK3 concept which would integrate both the aircraft and shipboard systems. The Navy selected IBM Federal Systems to be the prime systems integrator for the LAMPS MK3 concept. Since the Shish-2 was not large enough to carry the Navy's required equipment a new airframe was required. In the mid-1970s, the Army evaluated the Sikorsky YUH-60 and Boeing Vertol YUH-61 for its Utility Tactical Transport Aircraft System UTTAS, competition. Navy based its requirements on the Army's UTTAS specification to decrease costs from commonality to be the new airframe to carry the LAMPS MK-3 avionics. Sikorsky and Boeing Vertol submitted proposals for Navy versions of their Army UTTAS helicopters in April 1977 for review. The Navy also looked at helicopters being produced by Bell, Cayman, Westland and MBB, but these were too small for the mission. In early 1978 the Navy selected Sikorsky's S-70B design, which was designated Shish-60B Seahawk. IBM was the prime systems integrator for the LAMPS MK3 with Sikorsky as the airframe manufacturer. The Shish-60B maintained 83% commonality with the UH-60A. The main changes were corrosion protection, more powerful T-700 engines, single-stage oleo main landing gear, removal of the left side door, adding two weapon pylons, and shifting the tail landing gear 13 feet meters forward to reduce the footprint for shipboard landing. Other changes included larger fuel cells, an electric blade folding system, folding horizontal stabilators for storage, and adding a 25-tube pneumatic sonobuoy launcher on the left side. An emergency flotation system was originally installed in the stub wing fairings of the main landing gear, however, it was found to be impractical and possibly impede emergency egress, and thus was subsequently removed. Five YSH-60B Seahawk Lamps 3 prototypes were ordered. The first YSH-60B flight occurred on 12 December 1979. The first production Shish-60B made its first flight on of February 1983. The Shish-60B entered operational service in 1984 with first operational deployment in 1985. The Shish-60B is deployed primarily aboard frigates, destroyers, and cruisers. The primary missions of the Shish-60B are surface warfare and anti-submarine warfare. It carries a complex system of sensors including a towed magnetic anomaly detector, MAD, and air-launched sonobuoys. Other sensors include the APS-124 search radar, ALQ-142 ESM system and optional nose-mounted forward-looking infrared, FLIR, turret. Munitions carried include the MK-46, MK-50, or Mark 54 lightweight torpedo, a GM-114 Hellfire missile, and a single cabin door mounted M60D, M247.62 mm, 0.30 in, machine gun or GAU 16.50 in, 12.7 mm, machine gun. An enlisted aviation warfare systems operator, sensor operator, 
The U.S. Navy operated the Shush 60B in helicopter anti submarine squadron, light, HSL, squadrons. All HSL squadrons were a standard crew for a Shush 60B as one pilot, one auto co pilot airborne tactical officer, and redesignated helicopter maritime strike, HSM, squadrons and transitioned to the MH 60R between 2006 and 2015. After the Shish 60B entered service, the Navy conducted a competition to replace the Shish 3 Sea King. The competitors were Sikorsky, Cayman and IBM, avionics only. Sikorsky began development of this variant in March 1985. In January 1986, seven Shish 60Fs were ordered including two prototypes, Bunos 163,282 thirds. The first example flew on 19 March 1987, the Shish 60F was based on the Shish 60B airframe, but with upgraded Shish 3H avionics. The Shish 60F primarily served as the Carrier Battle Group's primary anti-submarine warfare (ASW) aircraft. The helicopter hunted submarines with its AQS-13F dipping sonar and carried a six-tube sonobuoy launcher. The Shish 60F is unofficially named Ocean Hawk. The Shish 60F can carry Mk-46, Mk-50, or Mk-54 torpedoes for its offensive weapons, and it has a choice of fuselage-mounted machine guns, including the M-60D, M-240D, and GAU-16.50 caliber, for self-defense. The standard aircrew consists of one pilot, one co-pilot, one tactical sensor operator (SO), and one acoustic sensor operator (ASO). The Shish 60F was operated by the U.S. Navy's helicopter and to submarine HS, squadrons until they were redesignated Helicopter Sea Combat HSC, squadrons and transitioned to the MH-60S. The last HS squadron completed its transition in 2016. The HH-60H was developed in conjunction with the U.S. Coast Guard's HH-60J, beginning in September 1986 with a contract for the first five helicopters with Sikorsky as the prime contractor. The variant's first flight occurred on 17 August 1988. Deliveries of the HH-60H began in 1989. The variant earned initial operating capability in April 1990 and was deployed to Desert Storm with HCS-4 and HCS-5 in 1991. The HH-60H's official DoD and Sikorsky name is Seahawk, though it has been called Rescue Hawk. Based on the Shish 60F, the HH-60H is the primary combat search and rescue, CSAR, Naval Special Warfare, NSW, and Anti-Surface Warfare, ASUW, helicopter. It carries various defensive and offensive sensors. These include a FLIR turret with laser designator, and the aircraft survival equipment, ASE, package including the ALQ-144 infrared jammer, ABR-2 laser detectors, APR-39, B, two radar detectors, AAR-47 missile launch detectors and AL-47 chaff, flare dispensers. Engine exhaust deflectors provide infrared thermal reduction reducing the threat of heat-seeking missiles. The HH-60H can carry up to four AGM-114 Hellfire missiles on an extended wing using the M299 launcher and a variety of mountable guns including M60D, M240, GAU-16 and GAU-17, a machine guns. The HH-60H's standard crew is pilot, co-pilot, an enlisted crew chief, and two door gunners or one rescue swimmer. Originally operated by HCS-5 and HCS-4, later HSC-84, these two special USNR squadrons were established with the primary mission of Naval Special Warfare and Combat Search and Rescue CSAR. Due to SOCOM budget issues the squadrons were deactivated in 2006 and 2016 respectively. The HH-60H was also operated by helicopter anti-submarine HS squadrons with a standard dispersal of 6F models and 2 or 3H models before the transition of HS squadrons to HSC squadrons equipped with the MH-60S, the last of which completed its transition in 2016. The only squadron equipped with the HH-60H as of 2016 is HSC-85, one of only two remaining USNR helicopter squadrons, the other being HSM-60 equipped with the MH-60R. In Iraq, HH-60Hs were used by the Navy, assisting the Army, for medevac purposes and special operations missions.